Hi guys! So we are at La Creperie de Paris. It is a French style creperie in the France Pavilion area. It's new in the Ratatouille area. I'm going to preface this. From my understanding, and I'm going to confirm this with the, the server, this is not safe for celiac. If you are gluten intolerant in general, you're probably okay. But it, there is no protection for cross contamination. So watch with layers. Okay? So I have confirmed uh, there is cross contamination issue here. So if you are celiac, if you have issues with risk of cross contamination, don't do this. Don't eat here. Um, if you are just gluten sensitive, cross contamination isn't going to be an issue for you, like a small amount, etc. You should be fine. Um, I, I hope. I'll find out when I eat here. If I suddenly get really, 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 really tired, I'll let you know. So, um, I have ordered, uh, there are four types of ciders. There's Brut, Demi Sec, Blue, and Rosé. I'm going to do the Demi Sec, which is the middle of the range for sweetness. Then uh, I'm getting the Galette, thank you. The Salmon, which is going to be the smoked salmon one with lemon and a creme fraiche and chives, which, you know, is the, their equivalent of a bagel and cream cheese, you know. My food. Uh, the most recommended are the Salmon de Savoyard, which is the raclette, onions, bacon, and ham, which also sounded kind of yummy, but very salty. And the um, Classique and the Poulet. So she, she didn't mention the goat cheese one, she didn't mention the ratatouille one. The ratatouille is probably good for vegans because most of the others seem to have some kind of a dairy product in it. Um, the desserts, I've asked her to check if the caramel sauce is safe for gluten. Um, if not, I may switch to, to something else because some of them, like the banana with the caramel sauce, sounded amazing. The um, caramel, caramelized apples with the caramel or, or salé also sent. I think it's salé. If I pronounce that wrong, please correct me. S A L E with a little thing on top. The thing on top. Um, they charge for add-ons, two ninety-five for whipped cream. Okay, we'll see. Uh, ice cream or another sauce. So yeah, we'll see what they say. I'm, I'm hoping that we can just switch something out without an additional charge, but we'll find out. That, and, and they do do the prefix menu, but I didn't. I didn't even ask about the soup of the day to be really honest, because normally those are made with a roux, and I wouldn't have been able to have it. So, yeah. plus remember. We've got Festival of the Arts today, so I'm going to be eating a lot of food at Festival of the Arts. Um, and with 20 items that with modifications are okay for gluten-free, I need to kind of limit what I'm doing. I'm going to probably be stuffed enough for a little while with this and just need to walk and look at art for a while. So that's where we are. I'll let you know when the food gets here. The cider has come in. It is a demi-sec and, uh, well, it's served very Frenchly. You would think like a cider is going to be in a big glass, but it's served more like a champagne. I do smell the apple. So, it's not the sweetest of the ciders. They said the brute would be drier, but it is definitely not sweet. You definitely get apple, a lot of fruit in there, but it's not a whole lot of sugar. Yeah. So it's, it's like, um, more tart, like if you had a Granny Smith, but not as strong a flavor, because the, the fermentation process probably softens it a bit. But it's lovely. It's quite lovely. So I'll let you know when the food gets here. I'm not going to drink too much right now, because this is at 11 o'clock in the morning, my first uh, food of the day. Oh, also, that great water bottle that I bought and packed for the last trip that I filled with water and put in the fridge is still in the fridge in my room. So I still have to go buy a bottle of water today. Ah, the things we do. I'm going to see if I can get it in a shop, just because if you have an annual pass and you buy water in a shop versus buying it at a kiosk, you can use your discount at a kiosk can. It's too firm. Um, the caramel sauce, while it doesn't normally have gluten-containing ingredients, the chef can't guarantee that it's gluten-free in terms of ingredients. Um, for example, the, the vanilla might have barley in it, because malt is often in vanillas. Um, so, for that reason, I can't do that. However, she did say I can take any of the dessert crepes and switch out. Like, so if it's the banana that comes with the caramel, normally I could get banana with the hazelnut or with the, um, the chocolate ganache or, or even the red berry sauce. Um, so I'm going to kind of look through and, and recreate in my mind what I want to do. Um, 
if I'm still hungry. Because again, remember, there's a lot of food that I'm coming today. Although I am very tempted to not eat for a little bit, do do a lot of the arts things, just see the arts booths, um, uh, and, and then come back to food. But we'll see. We'll see how I feel. By the way, are you liking the new camera? This is a new uh, Sony I just got because my, my trusty Canon GX Mark Seven wouldn't record anymore. Every time I hit the uh, record button, just wouldn't. It made a little crackly sound. And I guess it was too expensive to fix, so they just gave me my money back to get a new one. This is a more expensive camera, but it is specifically designed for vloggers. I don't love it yet. I like it. I don't love it. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So that's where we are right now. I hope you can see me. I actually didn't even turn the viewfinder out to see what this looks like. So I could be looking ridiculous and just not know. They do. They have Orangina style orange yeah. lemonade. So it's five, six bucks. The same as you would for the cider I just had. It's more beverage. Yeah. And it's so cool looking. I haven't had Orangina in a couple of years. I really like it. It's effervescent mild orange juice, but the lemonade would be even better for me. Anyway, the galette has arrived, the salmon galette, and the picture will go in right here. They've given me a piece of lemon here. So I am now squeezing the lemon over the salmon because it comes with it, so I assume that's how they want me to eat it. Um, it's a pretty substantial size. I mean, it's about 8 to 10 inches in length, um, but it's basically flattened like a... What call it? Like a... Um, Very flat bagel and cream cheese open base. So, one of the people here. Oh, yeah. Use creme fresh instead of cream cheese. Good quality smoked salmon. The galette itself, which is stuck to the plate, by the way. Like, Definitely a savory grape. It's got a bit of a saltiness to it, and I'm not sure if that is from the stuff that is on it or the crepe itself. But again, as I found with baked goods, a lot of people put salt in thinking it makes it sweeter, which it doesn't for me. But and then the fresh chives. And actually, that's nice. The chives are only mostly for the middle. For the first bite, I didn't have them. But they do add some nice saltiness. It was good. Is it something I'm a little crazy out of my way for again? Probably not. And I'll debate on whether or not I want to get the dessert cake. I'll figure that one out, depending on how full I get on this. Because again, it's not officially gluten free. Like again, if you're celiac, don't eat these. Um, if you have cross contamination issues, just be careful. All right, so I'm going to continue, and I'll uh, tell you what I think when I'm done. Uh, I've gotten the second galette. It is a modified version of the banana one. The banana one is bananas with uh, a caramel sauce, but they can't guarantee the safety of the caramel sauce. So I have it with the chocolate sauce, the ganache, which uh, still is pretty runny because of the heat of this. Got my little allergy stick again, not for celiac. Um, but I didn't want to put anything that really was could be clearly gluten. gluten. So we're gonna try the chocolate. And the bananas are just sitting in the center, so I'm gonna sort of cut. They're not cut all the way through. All right. all right. So let's try the first bite, and then we're good. Right. So it's definitely a savory crepe. Oh, it's a very savory crepe. Yeah, definitely. There's a um, chocolate with banana is good. I'm gonna try this one more. I'm just gonna try the crepe alone. Okay. If you're coming in here and you want to only stick with the galettes because of the buckwheat, don't get a dessert crepe. Mm. So, I mean, like I said, the chocolate and bananas are good, um, but the galette itself doesn't go with the flavors on this. It's really a savory flavor. So, I'm going to eat about a 10. Also, the bananas feel either 
Okay, so other information for you. Uh, this is a third party vendor and they do not accept the annual pass, so you won't get your 10% discount here. That's something to know. Um, yeah, don't don't get the dessert crepe. Well, let me get, clarify. Don't get the galette crepe with the dessert filling. Um, if you are not gluten free, you could do the other way around. I've been told that's really good and I can imagine how the slightly sweet on the, the crepe would be really nice with the other flavors, but that was definitively a savory flavor, like some kind of, it's not wildly herbaceous, but it's definitely, there's there's not enough sugar to make that play well. So, you live and learn. Um, I don't know if they're gonna charge me for the whole crepe or not, because I ate, I ate the bananas and the chocolate out of the center, but, yeah. Um, but the, the entree crepes were lovely. So, you know, if you wanna get a nice entree crepe and you are gluten-free but not celiac, uh, and not highly, highly sensitive, where you might get sick from cross-contamination, then give it a try. Um, the ciders were nice, the, the flavors on that, and the other people who were sitting near me who were eating their galettes also seemed to like the flavors, so there you go. It's, it's yeah. So the, it was $15.95, $8.95, $5.95, and $5.95, $30.85 before tax. If you want to get soup and salad, and you want to get all of the all the crepes, two crepes, uh, a, a, shem, uh, a demi sec, a glass of wine, or what was beverage? I think they. Spoke. What does it say? It's a choice of uh, one galette with a glass of hard cider soda or juice, um, and then a dessert crepe and the soup of the day, or the salade maison, which is just a mixed greens, tomatoes, onions, vinaigrette, basic salad. Uh, that's thirty three. So. You'd be saving, what is it, like a buck fifteen more to add a salad or a soup to it. Now again, I didn't even ask about the soups and whether they were safe for gluten. My guess is they weren't, um, but that's my fault for not checking. I can please, uh, oh, we got a pop, someone open champagne. Okay, if this video is ADD, <laughs> squirrel. Um, but if this video has helped you learn how to eat gluten-free when you're traveling in the parks, not celiac, but gluten-free, please give this a thumbs up and follow along the channel. Normally I try to do things that are completely gluten-free and celiac safe, um, and I will continue to do that so that you guys have an option of the things that you can eat while you're visiting. I do Universal, Disney, and I try to do chains in the area. Thank you. Give us a thumbs up, like it, share it if you think somebody else can benefit from the videos on this channel. And, um, I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?